Okay, Jill, what we're trying to do is uh, get a sample for the rainfall simulator. And if the vegetation is really, really tall, it makes it really, really hard to get the sample by the way that we do it. And so I'm going to clip this down a little bit to make it a little easier to get the sample. Okay, so we've clipped it down and we know that we're not going to be able to get flush with the ground because of the vegetation being really, really thick. So I test it. I put this down as hard as I can do it. I take a ruler and I measure to the ground and I'm still going to be, according to this, two inches above the ground. So you, you got to remember that. You'll see that later when we, when we cut this. So, uh, what we do is, I turn this upside down, like, like so, so you get the vegetation up around it. Then I have a helper stand on it. Then I take as straight a shovel as I can find. So then I begin the, the process of trimming around the sample. This is really hard when you do the overgrazed compacted soil. This tray is always the easiest. Remember I said the grass was about two inches, so we're going to have to go about five or six inches down. So now I'm making sure I got five or six inches. How do I know that? If I use my ruler. Now, prove I'm not lying. That's five inches. Five inches. So that's why I take the tray off, make sure I'm getting that depth that we need. So I've gone all around my sample, making sure I've got at least five inches deep. Going a little deeper is not a problem. So we use that tray that's already been, and it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's going down in the ground now. You gotta be able to get the sod out from at least one side in order to get underneath. So then, that's the harder part. Working your way underneath this thing. Oh, man. Yeah, it's really dry. <laughs> okay, don't, don't, uh, don't go on the side. All right. Because then it'll all fall apart. We're going to flip this over. Uh, this is the trickiest part. We have lost samples at this stage. This, you got to have two people. I've done it by myself, and about 30% of the time I lose a sample by myself. One, two, three. There. Pretty dang on. Good job, Bear Kevin. That is. You almost act like you know what you're doing. <laughs> You've done this before. Okay, so. You're probably wondering. <laughs> what good does it do to have an upside down sample? So, then we take our other tray. So, I use this, Jill, to just trim off. To make sure we can get this pan over it. Okay, 
Now we're going to flip. Okay. So now here's key. Is we don't trim off. We push in. Okay. And, and why do we do that? Because when you're doing the rain pulse simulator, the water will take the path of least resistance, right? So if we don't do it this way, then what will happen is all the water will go around the edges. So you'll see here, we're a little short. So this will be my top end when I do the rainfall simulator. Okay, so we're, we're good down at this other end. And so when it's sitting in the rainfall simulator, it'll be sitting like this so that the runoff will go that way. So I probably could have trimmed off maybe a half inch off of the bottom when we had to originally in our first pan flipped over. I probably should have trimmed just a little to get it just slightly down there. But you don't want it way down in there like you do when you get the if you use the cutting tool that bud sells. So, uh, so there's our sample. Uh, now do you trim this back any at all, Kevin, or is it, that pretty good height? It, for that, the... That's pretty good height for the rainfall simulator. Uh, so it, it depends on what you want to demonstrate. If, if you're saying, okay, this is ready to graze height, so we're, this is where we're getting ready to turn them into, or some people will trim it down to three or four inches and say, okay, they just grazed it. What, what's the runoff and infiltration like after they've just come out? So it's up to you what you're wanting to demonstrate. I mean, we, we've done it at this height yeah. now and had it work fine. Uh, yeah, and I think the important thing, make sure it's level too. Make sure sometimes when you pop it out, you'll have a uh, maybe one high spot. This one was really level because of the way you undercut it. But I think that's kind of what Kevin's talking about. You can't have a have it be uh, one side thicker than the other, need to make it a little more uniform across there. Yep. So. Okay, any questions, Jill, give me a call. Have fun. Yeah. And if going into the heavy overgraze, you might want to take a, a, about a five pound sledgehammer with yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To be able to get the shovel in the ground. That's right, that's right, we've done that. <laughs>